Hi, everyone. It's Jeffrey. It's Red Color. I hope the lighting is okay. I know it's very strange, this lighting. Okay. So, today before the eclipse, I was supposed to have an event. I canceled the event. There was only one person who was going to come. And, you know, it's like, well, I only want to give you this much money. And I just felt I know this person and I've seen that they're, I've seen their MO and it's like, no, it's like canceled. It's okay. Now there's one other person who might come and I told him he could pay whatever he wants because he wasn't expecting it. Right. It wasn't like, oh, well, this is how much I'm going to pay. Like, no, no. So it was like a matter of self-care. And I think that's maybe the message self-care. <clears throat> so let, yesterday, I went into a bit of a trance, which was really good for me. And I wrote down all these things that whether it made sense or didn't, which I think is really the best. And I wrote, I forgive you for, I forgive you. And whatever came up, like even if it made sense, it's probably past life. So, I've, so it's like, I forgive you for lying. I forgive you for telling the truth. I forgive you for... And it just went on and on and on and on and on. And I just kept writing and writing and writing like three or four or five pages or more. And then today, after I uh, did the meditation, you know, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Okay, I can't even see myself. Um, uh, I did a little ritual. I like... Because the new energy is coming in, so I want to be clean. I want to make room for it. I want to make room for it. And a lot, I know I talk about Guadalupe a lot, and my understanding of the, of the, you know, so it's Guadalupe, right? And then below her is a child. And my understanding of Guadalupe is to be both the mother and the child. And to be the mother is to be the comforter, to be the I love you no matter what. And to be the child is to be the, um, the one that's loved unconditionally. And it's really about being both. And it's about being both to oneself, from oneself, with oneself. That's my interpretation. So today I allowed myself to be the child and it's like, I forgive you for this, I forgive you for this, I forgive you, I forgive you, I forgive you, I forgive you. And I'm probably gonna do a little more work on it too. And um, I'm really glad I canceled, mostly. Now, there are a few people that might show up, but I'd like this. Just, I just didn't want this one person here. Just eat. Not that I, you know, it, it's self-care. It's as simple as that. It's self-care. Like I offered it a certain price and they offered me a third of the price. And I came up to like 50%. Oh, no, I can't do that. It's like, no, no, no. Don't, don't. No. So. Like, don't want you here, right? No. But, you know, you don't invite in. If somebody stepped on your foot, right, you don't invite them back in. Like, oh, well, I'm going to step on your foot. I'm going to keep on stepping on your foot until I break your toe. It's like, no, no, no. No. You stepped on my foot once. I'm avoiding your feet, right? So that's that. And it's not even like an anger thing. It's more of a self-love thing, right? Okay. Card of the day, self-love. <laughs> the knight in shining armor, the one who offers the gift, the one who offers the healing. And a lot of time, you know, the way I read cards is really not like, this is not an outside person. This is you yourself to you. That's the way I generally read it. And uh, taking the action, taking the action of healing, taking the action of intuition, taking the action of uh, kindness, of comfort, of love. So that's the energy, right? Until, and then you cross, right? Then he crosses the, like the, like maybe the, uh, the stream. You know, I crossed over like maybe a muddy stream toward the clear lake and tomorrow should be interesting. And then I was talking to somebody last night at one of the meetups and he was telling me that it's going to be 70%. Um, you could see 70% of it here. So, okay. You know, I don't have the glasses or anything. I'll just, I don't even know if I'm going to go out in it. 
I don't know. We'll see. I'm just working with the energy. I'm working with the energy. So um, that's that. And if you want, you know, to do a healing, to do a clearing over the eclipse is a perfect time. So I'm available, a reading, whatever. That is the energy. Um, Self-care. Self-care. You know, and self-care a lot of times means getting rid of the old. You know, we sit in judgment of ourselves. So when I do this little ritual, it's like, here I am in my judgment mode, which we all do. You know, I judge this situation is bad or good or good, you know, whatever. This person, whatever, my job. And um, be in your heart and then expand your light and almost look over yourself, right? Look over yourself in a, in a protective, comforting, loving way and come from your higher self and, you know, say to your soul, to your light, I forgive you for whatever it is. And... That's the thing. I like, I just kept on going and I wrote everything and it's opposite because it's like, I don't even know what I'm carrying at the time. You know, we're all trying to figure it out. It's like, let your intuition come in and like give you the words. That's what worked for me. And uh, I might do it again today, you know, later on. And um, that's that. So interesting day, interesting times. Blessings. <laughs>